darkness is upon us. I have an assignment for you. Travel to Spain. Rumor has it that Inquisitor Augustin went out of his mind. He became obsessed with witch hunting. People are in terror. You are my best agent. I know you'll investigate and bring an end to this madness. The road to Spain is a long and a dangerous one. You'll be safer if you travel undercover. Put on the robes of a Templar knight. Thieves will avoid attacking an armed man. Inside that room, you'll find everything you need. Must I even say that this mission should remain a secret? From now on, you're on your own. I'll pray for your safe return, my friend. With the cardinal left inside. Some more light in here would be welcome. Place all the equipment here. Let's see what I missed.
Finally, the gates of Portonero village. I hope the guards will let me in. A few years back, by mere chance, missionaries discovered the village of Portonero, hidden high in the Spanish mountains. The small village, isolated from the rest of the known world, thrived, and its people lived in harmony with nature. No hunger, war, or pestilence used to trouble this place, and the sun used to always shine upon it. The missionaries reported finding traces of a pagan religion, worshipping of the sun and earth, and even animals. Studying their writings, the missionaries revealed even more. One night, after a celebration, tragedy had befallen Portonero. A fiery inferno destroyed the village to the ground. With the help of the missionaries, the village was rebuilt afterwards. But it hasn't been the same ever since. Something has been lost in that fire. From that day on, the sun did not shine upon the village of Portonero any longer. Who goes there? A Templar knight? Well, I'm afraid strangers aren't welcome in our village any longer. We already have enough trouble. Go away! A permission letter from the Vatican. <laughs> hey, listen. The Vatican's far away, and I honestly don't give a damn for some cardinal's permission letter. I'll let you in, but only if our sheriff gives you his permission. You can find the sheriff in his cabin, down there along the path. My hand! The wound is not too deep. But I urgently need something to stop the infection and bleeding. This must be the sheriff's cabin. The door is locked and it seems like there's no one inside.
A map of Portonero and its surroundings? That's just what I needed. It's too dark in here. Perhaps I can let some more light in. That's better. Now let me see if there's anything here I can use.
have to help the poor man immediately. I just need to find a way to get rid of the wolf. I mustn't risk another attack. from this unholy place before it is too late for you. Nothing good lives here anymore. The Inquisitor's terror made everyone run for their lives. The wolf only tried to protect me from the Inquisitor, but too late. Uh, I feel my soul is leaving my body. This is my end. I only regret one thing. I... I wish I could have told my woman one last time. I... I love her so deeply. My dear Dolores. Rest in peace, brother. I'll pray for your soul to find a rightful path.
Hmm. Very well. The permission is valid. You may enter Port Nero. But I'm warning you, stranger. No funny business, or I'll come and take your head away. What an unpleasant man. I hope I won't see much of him anymore. Please, Inquisitor Augustine, have mercy! Tell me where that witch Megella is, Chaplain. Tell me now. Oh, leave that man alone. Who are you? How dare you? to this man. You'll see me again. Oh, thank you, stranger. Thank you a thousand times for saving me from the Inquisitor. Say, what brings you to these tortured lands? But pardon me, I, I ask questions that are not of my business. I'm the village chaplain, Brother Ramon. Oh, but you're bleeding. Heaven's sake! Come, follow me! Here, take these herbs. They're very good for wounds and infections. Get some clean water and bandages, and your arm will feel better shortly.
right. That should stop the infection of the wound. My hand already feels better. This guy again. Why do I have a feeling he doesn't like me at all? Ah, you again. Why are you sneaking around? What do you want? You want to enter the church, right? Well, I can let you inside, but I'll need a favor. I'm starving, and that soup from Ramon's house smells so good. Ramon never shares it with the rest of us. Say, can you bring me some? Well, you better, should you want to enter the church, stranger.
That must be Dolores, the sheriff's wife. I better talk to her. I have a feeling that she has no idea yet what happened to her husband. Don't look at me, stranger. My life is a nightmare. That crazy Celio kidnapped my son. He took him to the swamps. He said it is the only way to protect him from the Inquisitor. However, I'm so frightened. What? What are you saying, stranger? My husband, the sheriff, is dead? Killed by the Inquisitor? Oh no. Oh no, no! You say his last words were that he loved me? Oh, I will never forget him, my poor man. Please, I beg you, stranger, find my son. Bring him back to me, now that my husband is dead. My son Diego is all I have. Here, take this key. The sheriff left it here the other day. Perhaps it can be useful to you. Thank you, Dolores. You are a brave woman. I promise I'll get your son back to you. Well, and alive.
every hundred years in the year of the bear, on the first hour of the first day of spring, the chosen three are born, two boys and a girl who will lead our people. It is their destiny. It has always been this way. One boy will become the all-knowing wise man. The sun will be his guide. The other boy will become a great warrior. The wolf will be his protector. The girl will become a loving nurturer. Nature itself will be her inspiration. The children grew. Dolores had healing hands, and her love for all living things knew no bounds. Where she walked, plants thrived, and birds sang cheerfully. Geraldo was strong and courageous. Sword, spear, or bow, he would wield them all with tremendous confidence. The forest was his playground, and all the wildlife would bow to him. And Porfirio? Porfirio was the silent one, always seeking solitude. He would read the ancient scrolls by candlelight, studying to become the wisest of his people.